kind of impromptu cut off the last episode though, but what's up there guys? Welcome to the episode of Goddamn Abzu. I kinda didn't want to stop the flow of the game by being like, okay, that's it for this episode. Meh, meh, meh. Let's do an outro, so. Let's just do some brief little cutoffs. What this chin doing down here? Man, the lighting is just. It's beautiful. Man, there's a big ass shack again. Oh no, it's not. It's just a giant fish, right? Yeah, it's just a giant, bizarre looking fish. Look at this place. It's like autumn in sea. In sea form, you know? Oh. Is that another one of those doorways that I can get through if I have my little my little buddy? Okay, might have some puzzles to get through here. Yeah, looks like an Adolfo that I can only get through with my little guy. With my little friend to help me out. Man, look at all of this. This is fucking cool. Okay, so I don't think I can interact with this in any way. Let's investigate the upper tiers first. See if we can figure this out. Guess there's nothing in here, is there? No. Never know. Oh! Was that a thing? No, it's not a thing. <laughs> Worth a click. Okay, so we've got a thing over there. We can go up. Let's go up first. Like I said. I feel better going like top down, you know what I mean? Let's go do this first. What is this thing? Oh man! Okay. We just birthed some hammerheads. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. I guess I won't do any specific actual meditation here, jump between animals' minds and stuff. But a little look around can't help. Ah, sorry, can't hurt, goddammit. <laughs> okay. What then is down here? Is this down to that chamber below? I don't think there's anywhere else up here that I can go, so... This should take us down to whatever the... Oh. Okay, no, I don't know... I don't know where this takes us. The noise, dude. That ungodly, ghastly noise. Whoops. Oh, I got it. Okay. Good stuff. Whatever it is. Okay. Let's head back up. Alright, man. Fucking awesome. I'll tell you what, when explorer, exploration is great in a game when it's just as fucking beautiful as this. I've already clicked that thing. So I'm guessing I gotta go down to the depths of this place. Oh, there's also the gateway over there. But where's the altar to get through the gateway? Like the altar that I have to pass through. Has it been destroyed? Has it been smashed up? What the hell is that thing, man? Look at how happy these things look. Let me ride it. Man, he's quite agile once I'm on his back. Quite an agile fella. Man, cool. Um, yeah, man, what the fuck happened here, dude? All the ocean floors all collapsed and stuff. Does that mean that the thing I need to use is like down here? Let's go down and try to figure this out. Pretty sure that whatever we need to do, it's down this way now. Okay, what do we got? Bearing some more creatures here. Nice, nice. Spotty little stingrays. Very beautiful. All 
all things bright and beautiful. Okay, what is this? Oh, this fellow little robot dude. Found him. There he is, man. So it looks like we need to find him in every zone. To, uh, yeah. Progress, I guess. Is there anything else down here? Not that I can see. Okay. This is, I believe, the way we want to go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There wasn't there something over here? I just want to make sure I'm not missing out on anything. There's a thing over here, right? That I spotted earlier. I could probably come back to it, but... I don't want to chance it. Yeah, look, look, look. There's like a machine thing over here. Let's not miss out on this, man. Can I use this? I can. Oh, shit. Ah, okay. Alright, cool, cool. Does that give us a finite amount of time until that thing runs out of chin? Let's get a move on just in case. Probably doesn't, but... Doesn't seem like the kind of style that this game goes for, you know? To be like, boom, time limit! Before a bomb goes off or a shack comes and fucking snaps your shit up, you know? Doesn't seem to go for that kind of style. Yet, at least. Open it. Alright, thanks, little dude. Should really have a name for him, but. Call him Luna, but Luna's not yellow. This wouldn't work. Is there anything up here? Any little secrets for us to explore? Love the music in this game, dude. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Cool. We did it. We did it. Man, I can't believe I've, I've actually had this game on Steam for a long, long time, dude. Like, we're talking about a year and a few months at least. Maybe even like a year and a half. I think I bought it in like, not the summer sale that just went. Or maybe it was like the winter sale from you know, 20, 2016 or some shit like that, so like right at the end of 2016. Something like that maybe, you know? And I just never touched it, and it's the same thing with quite a lot of other games. Um, I have like four or five games just sitting here. Funky little games like this, you know, that really caught my eye. That I just never ever touched. A couple of those games, actually, a couple of these games were actually gifted to me. Stardew Valley is one of them. And uh, Sultan's Sanctuary is the other. I mean, games that I know are just fucking awesome, but I've just really been saving myself for a time where I feel like I can. Uh... Sweet man, lionfish. Those guys don't look good to eat, man. Too prickly. And why did lots of green sparkly stuff just come off of me? Oh, all right. Um, but yeah, man, games like there's a lot of games that I've got that I just want to have an expansive free time before I really kind of sink my teeth into them. What's up on here? There's no way this little shelf would be here just for no reason. I played games for too long to. Okay, there's nothing on here. <laughs> Not that I can see anywhere. All right, let's go. But yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Part of the reason I selected this game to play is because, man, it just looks fucking awesome. 
and because it's quite a short game, as I understand. There might only be a few episodes on the, uh, on the channel, oh god. You see this big guy? Look at how quick he is, man. I wouldn't stand a fucking hope in hell, man, of getting away from this guy. He's not gonna come, like, full circle or something, is he? Can I do anything with this? Oh, he talks to me. Ha! <laughs> so if I do one beep, he does one beep. If I do two, <laughs> one, two, three. What a cool little dude he is, man. Alright. Something through here, maybe, where the shack came from. The game thinks that I'm scared to go here, yeah? So there's gonna be a secret behind here. I'm not scared. Woo! Okay. It's a seaweed. Relax. <laughs> ah, see, I was right! Ah! There it is. A little octopus into there. Little octopi. Well, that's the fake plural term, anyway. Yeah, Dibs, you enjoy playing your Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Are you playing a revolutionary game here? This feels badass. I mean, the best part is that nothing has really happened, and yet... It manages to be awesome. Like, I'm actually not a fan of games that really just kind of push a linear story. You know what I'm saying? Not a big fan. Things like Uncharted, um, etc. I don't know, man. I really enjoy watching them, but I never play them myself. You know what I mean? Okay, we're in another dead zone here. This is where we come in. This is where we come in. Where'd the shark go, though? Oh no, wait, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of no shack. Just get in, just get in, just get in, just get in. <laughs> Don't fucking kill me. Alright. Let's light this place up, man. Let's go. Oh shit. Just twatted my mic a little bit there. Just ruined the serenity of the scene. Alright. How many more than have we got to clear? So we haven't done that one. We've done that one done that one. Alright, man. So we've only got one more place to light up. Then maybe we do something with the middle? Or maybe that, like, explodes or something? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the symbology of that is, actually. It does remind me of the, um... The killing of the first flame. Interestingly enough, with, like, the big spires of Earth kind of protruding and leaning away from the fire. As if it's, you know, this great force to be reckoned with, like a hurricane, you know? Sort of cool. Alright, man. Let's put our blood into this. I put my blood into this. Let's do it. No way. Oh, never mind. It's a basking shark, okay. I thought for a moment we were about to spawn like sperm whales or something. That would be fucking amazing, dude. Amazing. Oh man, please let me swim with a whale. Let me do it. Whoa. Yeah, I believe those are basking sharks. I think. Anyway, god. It's been a long time since I've read anything to do with do with wildlife or whatever. But I used to love that shit as a kid, you know? I used to love reading, like, books about the deep oceans and... Well, you know what I mean. Okay, can I meditate on this? I guess not. Where's my meditation point here? There it is. I just want to check to see if it is actually a basking shark. Let's go, <laughs> Sophie. You know what? See if I can just do it real quick. Okay. 
Where did those big dudes go, man? There's one of them. Is it a basking shack? Oh, it's a whale shack. Okay. Pretty cool. Who else can I switch to? This little dude. Little yellow tang. What a guy, man. Okay. We are doing it. Saving the ocean, men. One location at a time. Okay, let's swing, swing through all of it. Actually, can I go down? Can I go down below this purified surface? Because it's almost like it's in a... It's in its own little bubble, if you know what I mean. Like, can we go under... Under the water, under the water? No, we can't go down there. Okay. I bet I can ride this guy, though. Let's go! Jeez, man, he's the slowest thing I've ever... I've ever ridden. I'll let him go. Alright, man. What is in here? people painted on the walls. It's not clear whether they're worshipping or taking from the ocean. Can I go into this? No, I can't go into it. It's like water running in water though, you see? It's really bizarre, man. We've seen all of these paintings here before, I think. But yeah, it's like water running in water. See how there's little grates there? I was kind of running down through a little underpassage. Water in water, man. Crazy. What's this all about? Oh, wait a minute, that's the, that's the red symbol. Shine your light on it, little dude. I want to see it. Shine the light on it. Oh, well, he's kind of getting it right. What are these guys doing up here? Oh shit. My swim control's gone a little bit chilly. Are these guys like gathering from the ocean or something? They are! Those are like jugs of water. They're taking water from the sea. So what my people are like appreciate is of this thing is like maybe the giver of life or something. It's like the deity of the ocean. Breathes life into the water, stuff like that. I don't know, man. It's all very curious. What about this? These guys are taking the blue and they're pouring the blueness down into the water here. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it lights it all up for me anyway. Oh, the little things over here that I can collect or Okay, cool. But what what went wrong then? Something must have went wrong, right? Because parts of the ocean started dying. Okay, those are our constructs. We use those to, like, section off parts of the sea. Maybe those things are the problem, you know what I mean? The fact that we started to, like, get things off and build in the ocean and stuff. Someone standing on top of it as well, as if to say, look at how great we are, you know, we started worshipping ourselves, getting arrogant or something. Because of all of our great inventions. Whereas before we used to respect the seas and stuff. I know I'm trying to, like, kind of prying here. But I'm very interested to, um, discern meaning from all of this. 
And maybe that's what we're doing. We're on like a solo crusade to set things right. Yeah, I like that theory. That's a good theory, man. Oh, we can do a little observation thing here as well, eh? Okay. We've seen those images before. Alright, nothing hugely new here. Can I do a little bit of meditating here? Cool, man. Fucking cool. Can I go at one of these eel things? Oh, jeez. It's really hard to control this, man. Little clownfish here, little Nemo's. Green Marie eel. Alright. I've seen enough. Let's go. Yeah, there's that image again, man, of that red thing. It's on the ground. What the hell happened here? I don't want to go out there, man. What the fucking shack's out there? Oh, it's one of those big triangles. It's like the door lock. What happened to you, little dude? Beep once if you won't tell me. Okay, he's not gonna tell me, man. It's confirmed on Reddit. Let's go. He's another big portal away. It's already blinking at me. If I go down, it's gonna follow me down. I can't tell if it's looking at me yet. I go left, is it looking at me? Alright. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Now, what happens to my little robot, dude? He just kind of makes a little sound and then just dies. I've got to go and find him again all the time. 